Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Mother Mary Matrix. This event is being recorded, and you'll be able to access the replay on demand. If you choose to interact with us and Kimberly today, you'll be also be recorded. You'll appear in the replay for educational purposes. Please be prepared to minimize any background noises in order to help maintain a peaceful atmosphere for all involved. We ask you that you keep your cameras turned on if you wish to be called on. If you have any questions or comments, you can send me a message in the chat box. Replays of this and all other events are available on Kimberly's on-demand video library at thehealingtrilogy.com. Gemma is an intuitive healer and Akashic Records reader. She discovered her spiritual gifts three years ago through an accident. She had a normal childhood, mom, dad, and sister. The only thing she knew was that she wanted to study economics, to understand how to make money out of nothing, and to live in New York. She achieved the second one, but is still working on the first one. In 2015, life threw her a curveball, and her dad decided that life was not living and unalived himself. To say that this was shocking is the understatement. She was numb for a few weeks. When the truth of it really hit her, she ended up in a deep depression. After six months after her dad's unaliving, she was first introduced to the metaphysical world while brushing her teeth. She heard her dad talking to her. The interesting was she was not scared. It felt surprisingly normal and comforting. This changed her forever. She felt connected to her dad and also the spirit realm in a way that she had only hoped for. She realized she was intuitive. She learned that emotional confusion could be erased through emotional connection with the heart and soul. Her sensitivities are her gifts and so are yours. Fatima is a regular person. She's from Peru with an Andino Amazonian indigenous ancestry. She has been exploring, learning, and healing her path with different shamanic practices, energy healing modalities, and spirit contact. She loves doing oracle and tarot readings. Fatima loved participating in many energy healing circles and groups, but it wasn't until she met Kimberly that her whole perception of miracles and spiritual energy healing and the Holy Spirit changed her life. Kimberly's online events have made Fatima's day much more fun, interesting, and meaningful, and she is deeply grateful for this angelic community for the opportunity to continue learning together. Kimberly Meredith is a well-renowned celebrity, medical intuitive, medium healer, and media influencer, and the best-selling author of Awakening to the Fifth Dimension, Discovering the Soul's Path to Healing. Following two near-death experiences, Kimberly was blessed with healing gifts from the Holy Spirit. Her remarkable abilities have been scientifically validated by numerous research institutes, including the Sciatech Subtle Energy Laboratory, Dr. Norm Shealy's Shealy Soren Wellness Institute, and the IONS Institute of Noetic Sciences, headed by Dr. Dean Radin, and founded by Apollo astronaut Edgar Mitcher. Kimberly also hosts the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show, a syndicated hit show broadcast worldwide on Blog Talk Radio, iHeartRadio, and more. Kimberly also appears on all major media platforms, numerous TV shows, expos, Omega Institute, magazine covers, podcasts, radio shows, and more. Kimberly's best-selling book is sold, every, sold everywhere, and Kimberly loves communicating with those on the other side to bring healing messages to all in need of comfort and insight. She provides animal readings, healings, and guidance to adults, children, and animals. So for today's class, please do recognize that this will be a sacred space. We invite you to turn on your video and keep your microphone muted, and please participate in the chat. Kimberly gets all her information through her blinking eyes with her guides using her clairvoyant abilities. And please don't give her guides any, abil any hints as she likes to go in cold. And when called upon, please try to have one question ready for her guides. And so welcome to today's Mother Mary Matrix. So thank you everybody for joining our class today. Um, if you need any help turning on your cameras, Q can help you with that. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. Sorry for a little bit of the internet um, hiccups there. Um, so we want to um, start our class. How many people have their rosary beads with them? Oh, great. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do the rosary. And then we'll do a little bit of the lesson. Um, and then we're going to do some, just a few readings. And then we're going to learn about healing. Um, how many people are healers here? Great. Quite a few people that are doing healing work. That's great. So um, we're going to do a lot of co-healing. And um, I also... 
going to make a couple announcements and um, I feel like it's a good time to um, put in prayers for people, which we'll do at the end of the class today. Um, so we want to do that. Um, we want to do, uh, you know, a prayer for everybody. want to make sure everybody gets a prayer in our prayer chat. So um, I feel like how many people have been to our group here, been to our Mother Mary group before? Lots of new people. So raise your hand if you've been here before. Oh, great. I see Jonathan. Yeah. So a lot of you have been here before, some new people here. So Gemma and Fatima and I are going to do the rosary. We're going to come in, the three of us, right now. Gemma, do you want to say anything to start the rosary? Yes, yes. First of all, thank you for the invite. And I welcome everyone uh, of you to this sacred space. Uh, the energy here, I don't know if you feel it is incredible. It's yes. very welcoming, very soft. So I invite you, all of you, to to be in this, enjoy this energy. Yes. And yeah, I will be just leading a little bit the rosary. Uh, Kimberly and Fatim will be doing the, the mysteries. I will be calling out. So, yeah. yeah. And you're gonna be, we're going to be doing the joyful mystery. So everybody. Yes. Yeah. Everybody, we're going to be doing the joyful mysteries. How many here know them? Get. Yeah. So I'm going to be calling out the joyful mysteries. I don't know if uh, you know how it works, but just to give you just a brief, very quick summary, I'm going to start uh, calling out the mysteries. Uh, I will pray, we will pray, or whoever wants to pray, the Our Father, Hail Mary three times. I call the first mystery and I will pass on to the ladies. And they will be called, they will be um, praying the um, Our Father, 10 times the Hail Mary. I will call the second mystery and so on and so forth until the fifth mystery. And later we do just the closing with a closing prayer. Right. Thank you, Gemma. And Fatima, do you want to explain what you'll be doing on the Spanish channel to everybody? Buenos días. Uh, si hay alguien que habla en español, cuando Kimberly diga la lección en inglés, yo la voy a traducir en español. Solamente vamos a traducir la lección de la Madre Divina. It's an honor and blessings to be here once again. These circles are very lifting for the heart and also give us a mindful time of the day to be more conscious with our relationship with Mother Mary or the Divine Feminine. So these are very precious. Even the recording has so much beautiful healing that you can replay later on. Thank you all. Gracias a todos. Gracias. And I want to say before we start, um, yes, so this is being replayed not only on our replays that go out to everybody on Monday, but this is a replay that goes out on YouTube, and you can share it around the world. So your energy in this sacred space of healing is going everywhere. Kimberly and the spirit guides welcome everybody through the Holy Spirit. Let's bow our heads and put our hand over our heart. We know that God is love. God is one with the Holy Spirit. Everyone has the ability in this room to accept the Holy Spirit in all form, pure love and light into the body, which is a temple of God. We know by accepting God through the Holy Spirit, which is a non-denominational energy, we accept all race, religions, and spiritual belief. We believe by accepting the power of the Holy Spirit and the Christ consciousness that we can be healed and have peace on earth. We accept the Holy Spirit and love being in the fifth dimension. And we believe that everyone can have a miraculous healing through the power of energy, chanting and praying of all healing and energy through love and light by saying, any healing and any prayer, including the rosary, saying, Holy, Holy, Raka Ata Adonai, 
Kadosh, Kadosh, Hashem, Hashem, Bhagavan, Amen, Hallelujah, Hosan in the highest. Namaste. So let's start doing the rosary now. Thank you, Kimberly. Okay, I'm going to start calling the mysteries. As she was saying, the joyful mystery. The, let's start with the um, sign of the cross. In the name of my Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. So the first mystery is the Annunciation to Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He must he stay at the libret as we forgive trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. And the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed art thou the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, pray for us the sinners now at the hour, the hour of our death. Amen. So now, um, as we are going through that, we are going to pass on to, I should have called the mysteries now the mystery. So it's the Annunciation to Mary. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second mystery, the visitation of Mary. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre, venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase, Señor, tu voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo, y danos hoy el pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, así como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Mas no nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos de todo el mal. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. 
Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de mi vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre. Gloria al Hijo, gloria al Espíritu Santo, como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Amen. The third mystery, the nativity of our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother, Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother, Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The fourth mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Haga el Señor tu voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo. 
Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Mas no nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos de todo mal. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres de todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres de todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre. Gloria al Hijo, gloria al Sagrado Espíritu Santo, como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. The fifth mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother Mary of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now, as we have finished the mysteries, we are going to go and uh, pray the Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee, to turn, to thee, sorry, to thee do, do we send up our sight, mournings and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thin eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that while meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may both imitate, that contain, and obtain, that we promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's all take a moment and meditate on the rosary. And know that the Holy Rosary can help our world right now and bring world peace and beautiful energy through our whole group right now and raise our vibration into our own health and healing and bring peace and calmness where I know which healing can occur. So thank you so much, Gemma and Fatima and everyone in the room that said the rosary. Um, we love saying the rosary. And we love that we say it all together with our group. So it's such a blessing that we're all able to do it. And we love that you're all with us doing the rosary. So thank you so, so very much. Thank you, Gemma. This is the first time Gemma was with us. And Fatima, it's such a blessing having you do it in Spanish. And it just brings tears to me and joy and chills because I have a very special relationship with the Virgin Mary. And I know you do too, and all of us do. And uh, Gemma has now committed to doing many of them with us. So we're excited. And um, especially our holiday uh, Christmas one is going to be really fun. So let's go right into a few. Um... Today, we celebrate Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The 12th century lay hermits who lived on Mount Carmel, located in modern-day Israel, dedicated their chapel to Our Lady. Soon, community members were known as Carmelites, or more officially, as the Brothers of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Carmelites have long had a special relationship with Mary. Their great saints and theologians have promoted devotion to her and often championed the mystery of her Immaculate Conception. St. John of the Cross credited Mary with saving him from drowning as a child, leading him to Carmel and helping him escape from prison. St. Teresa of the Child Jesus believed that Mary cured her of illness. On her first communion day, she dedicated her life to Mary. During the last days of her life, she frequently spoke of Mary. Tradition says that Mary appeared to Carmelite brother St. Simon Stock and gave him a scapular telling him to promote devotion to it. The small brown scapular, two pieces of cloth connected by cords, is a modified version of the one worn as part of the Carmelite habit. Those who wear it practice a special devotion to Mary and consecrate themselves to her particular care. So that's a little bit about St. Carmel. How many know about St. Carmel? 
Yeah. So yeah. Do you want to talk about it a little bit, Gemma? Well, I know I was, it's very interesting. I spent like 12 years at the school, Carmelite school. Yeah. The Carmelite school. Yeah. So yeah. Um, thank you. Q. Thank you. Uh, for me, what I remember obviously is many years ago um, is the education for them is very important when I was, you know, as I'm talking about what I remember when I was back home like many years ago and helping other people. Uh, one example, for example, where we are talking about many years ago, um, there were no people of color in, back home at that time in Spain, Madrid. And there were two girls that they have color. They were the school that uh, does open them up. And it was quite, quite different because people were kind of rejecting them. We are talking about 30 years ago. So it's, they are very open for new things, welcoming people, different nationalities, different cultures. So that's what I remember of them. I'm talking about many years ago. That's what I can share with you about that. Yeah, but there were a lot of miracles that occurred. Um, yeah. And they were helping them and, and there was a place that they could stay there. So that's what, that was very fast that we ran it through, but um, that was happening back then. So um, it was, I don't, did everybody hear the recording? Okay. Does anybody else want to talk about, have any questions or know anything about that also? Because I, I'm not sure if we heard. Did everybody hear what Gemma was saying? Okay, great. All right. So um, I want to go into doing, thank you, Gemma. That was really great. I'm glad you were able to share that. I want to go into doing some readings. Um, it's so funny. I've Yeah, so I want to go into doing a couple of readings and then I want to do a real interactive co-healing today. Um, so we had more time than normal because a lot of times we run short on time. So I thought it'd be really fun to do some a uh, couple readings and then do a lot more healing today, which I thought would be really fun. And um, so um, thought that might be really cool. Hi, Patty. Hi, Maddie. And I see there's a lot of healers here today. So that'd be really great. Um, so, yeah. So let's do that. And um, how many people enjoyed the rosary? Great. Okay. So let's do a few readings. So if you're up for a reading, um, we could do a few readings. The readings can be anywhere from connecting to the afterlife through the Holy Spirit, health and wellness. I don't know if everybody has ever had a reading with me before or you're new to the readings, but because this is sort of a very sacred, holy environment today, um, always with me because I'm a, you know, not your normal psychic. I'm a prophecy psychic. Um <clears throat> Be more open to the Holy Spirit energy feeling. So I know a lot of people get psychic readings from all sorts of mediums, but I work mo more from the Holy Spirit energy. Not to say that psych psychics don't, <laughs> but um, many people push away energy. So I'm saying because we're mixing Holy energy today um be open to understanding that i get messages from my left ear which is spirit coming in i got my gifts everybody gets their gifts from different types of energies so i'm getting my gifts through the holy spirit speaking to me okay so what i'm saying is that you're not going to get a reading that's just going to be something you want to hear. You might get a reading that's not what you want to hear. So 
it's not Kimberly giving you the reading. It's the Holy Spirit and guides of the higher ascending masters giving you the reading. So even if you don't want to hear something, write it down. Because it may be something later on that you may say, oh, this is something I needed to hear. And it's not me giving you the reading. I'm the messenger to your reading. And then we're going to have a co-healing. We're going to do a lot of co-healing in this group. Um, this group is a miracle group. So Gemma could tell you she's seen me in person. A lot of you have never seen me in person. And um, I'm a different person in person because I channel the Holy Spirit. I channel the energy of God. Now, how many here can say that we all channel the Holy Spirit and God? How many know that they can do that? Exactly. Yeah. Everybody has gifts. Everybody's on a mission here to do something amazing. And so um, all of us have the abilities to do these things or we wouldn't be in this group together today. And I'm here to help you boost that energy, whether you are having a condition of illness, whether you have um, an ability that needs to be um, boosted whether your family member wants to make contact with you, whatever it is, um, you're here for a reason. Um, so if I do a reading for somebody else and not you, the reading might be for you also. Two, today I'm cutting the, the class shorter on readings so many of you can come in and do more healings on people because I feel the class should be more appealing today. So I'm gonna go through the room and see who wants to be an example of a reading, meaning you're open to getting messages and hearing them from the guides. So let's see, somebody raised their hand like right away <laughs> that has not had a reading for a bit here. And when you get a reading, staying open for what the spirit wants to tell you. Okay. So Sharon Davis put her hand up right away. Where's Sharon? Okay. So let's do Sharon, but Sharon, you're going to be open for your reading. Okay. Sharon's open. Okay. Let's do Sharon. So Sharon, let's unmute you. <laughs> it's like we're playing a game of Jeopardy. <laughs> okay. Hi, Sharon. Where are you from? Missouri. Okay, Missouri. I have to turn you up a little bit because I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Maybe I just have to sit closer to the screen. Okay. Okay, Sharon, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, thank you for coming. Um, my spirit team is telling me a few things about you. You can ask me a question also, but they are telling me you might be having a health issue. Is yes. that true? Yes. Yes. They're, yeah. They're also telling me uh, it might be something in your, your stomach area, your, your GI tract area. Is that true? Not that I know of. Um, they're telling me, yeah, well, you might have something going on. Maybe it's a root cause of the situation of where it's uh, you stemming from, uh, but okay. they're going to your stomach for me. And they're also telling me something about your joints and your knees and, yes. cir and circulation. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes. Um, they're also telling me blood pressure. Yes. Okay, so blood pressure, joints, and a knee. They're talking about one of your knees and my left ear. Um, just so everybody knows, um, I had a blunt head trauma on the right side of my head. So I lost a little hearing in the left. So spirit speaks to me in the left ear. Uh, so they're, they're whispering these things to me. Um, they're also telling me that you at one point in your life, or maybe now, have a very strong connection with the Holy Spirit. I felt like it some time ago and I kind of lost it now. Yeah, but but you do and you're going to get it back again. 
So why don't you tell the group uh, what, what I'm trying to communicate to you and what is going on in your body? Um, I've been having pain in my back, my lower back. Yeah. And um, I just had an MRI done yesterday. I got the results of the of the, the MRI. Uh, it seems to have some explanations as to why I've been having diarrhea at night. Well, your diarrhea uh, is coming from your gut. That's where I'm first going straight to your gut. So that's what the Holy Spirit is going after your GI tract. Okay. I've had a uh, prior trouble with uh, my colon. Well, that's um, your GI tract. So that's when I said to please stay open to the reading. Okay, yes. <laughs> a, okay. a friend of mine passed away and I got a message from her through another psychic who said I needed to watch for that as well. Okay. So we're doing mini readings today. So that's why I'm saying we have to do fast readings. So to please stay open to the reading. So what about your blood pressure? Oh, I've been having a uh, low blood pressure and I think my medicine needs to change. So I saw the doctor and he was supposed to send a prescription for me to change it to, okay. and I haven't received it yet. Okay. Can, so you I, write, I know. Can, you, can you write this down fast? Yes. You're telling me there's major issues with your GI tract. You need a better probiotic immediately. Um, I'm getting a not a good number on your GI tract. And that's a root cause situation going on. And I could do a longer reading on you if you want to do a session. Your blood pressure is an issue. And the circulation on the left side of your body, I don't know if you're having problems with that, but that's also an issue. That could be your low back, uh, whatever's going on with your, do you have a disc issue? Yes. That's what I'm hearing. So I don't come up with this stuff. They're whispering it in my left ear. Yes. Yeah. So you'll be in the healing group and we want to do a healing on you today. And I'm also getting 333, which is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that they're telling me they want to heal you. They want you healed. Um, they're also telling me about some edema going on in your ankles. But that I didn't know about could be happening soon. Um, you okay. need to work on your blood pressure medicine. Okay. Are they going to adjust your blood pressure medicine? It was supposed to be reduced and I called the pharmacy today and they told me to call my doctor on Monday because he didn't send it over. Absolutely. It needs to be done. Thank you for letting me do a quick reading on you. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You need we need to get that going for you. And um the most important thing is a good diet for you too. Your diet, they're telling me one more thing about this. The diet needs to be adjusted. Okay. Food. I have been trying to eat uh healthier, but I had to have some teeth removed uh yesterday. And so that's going to make it a little more difficult, but I, yeah. I believe it's what I'm working on. Yes. So once your um, diet is a little bit better with the fiber and everything like that, you're going to start getting a lot better. You are on the mend. Yes. They're, they're, they're taking action on you. The Holy spirit is help going to help you a lot. Yeah. So I'm excited. And the, some vitamins need to be adjusted and things like that. So we're going to put you in the healing circle and I feel really good about all of this. So some good vitamins and more fiber and yeah, all of that. Okay. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you. Okay. So let's do another quick reading. Okay. Um, you can raise your hand if you want a reading, um, just be open to spirit coming in and helping. Let's do Christopher. Okay. Christopher. So we have Sharon will come in the group and for the healing group and Christopher. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Actually, that's my son's name. It was just already on the phone. Uh, okay. What is your name? 
Satu, S-A-T-U. Satu? Yes. Okay, welcome. Okay, Thank so you. try to stay open to the guides. <sighs> so I'm kind of re a reversal um, prophecy psychic, um, and they come from back to forward like you just saw. So they find the root cause. What I'm getting for you right away, they're telling me, without you asking me anything, Um, and you can then tell me if they're saying the correct thing. I'm, I'm fine with you saying no, if you want to, they're talking about. Is there something going on with you either finding a job or you have a job? Was yeah. Finding anxiety about a job. Yeah. Yes. So whispering something about job and anxiety about it finding yeah. find work yeah yeah very much and they're telling me okay so ask a question because they're asking me to ask them a question about you doing that go ahead okay will i find one and also would that involve moving great question um they're saying They're saying you don't have to move. Where, where do you live right now? In, in Southern California. They keep saying no about you moving. Um, and how long have you been trying to look for a job? Um, on and off for a little while now, but but right now it's more what I need to do. Yeah, they've laid off so many people. I mean, it's been pretty, pretty bad right now. Um, what kind of job are you looking for? Um, at this point, like administrative. Um, do you want to ask them if that's what they want for you, the guides? Yes. So if that's what they would like. What kind of administrative job? Um, like an office administrator, manager, something to that matter. Okay. And how are you going about it? I know they're being very nosy, but they're asking me that for you real quick. Uh, what do you mean? How are you going about looking for the job? Um, I'm just simply being the, the word out there and looking online. Okay. Um, they're telling me it's causing you stress. Yes. So that's why they're they're asking me, there could be another way for you to find a position. The way you're doing it is not working. Okay. So there's other ways to do it. They're telling me there's an, other ways for you to look for a position. I mean, I could do a private session with you to figure this out, but the way that you're doing it from one to five, they're saying it's it's not productive enough. Okay. So I know you don't, may not want to talk about it here in the group. Okay. So, so will they be seeing, do they see that I will get one eventually? Not the way you're going about it right now. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you, I, I mean, I can't, I can't draw the information out from you right now. So what I'm saying I, is that you're going to have to go about, they're telling me you're going to have to go about getting a position in a different way. So I don't know if you looked on LinkedIn or you go to a, a person to help you find a job or companies, there's places out there that can help you look for positions, but there's, there's other ways to go about getting one. Okay. Are they telling anything else? Just anything? I mean, this is something you'd have to, yeah, get more in detail with, but I'm sure you'll get a position, but there's going to, you need some more assistance. Okay. Yeah. To get, to get to looking for one. Do you want to ask one last more question about it? Yeah, I really, really. Yeah, if they said not moving, not moving out of the state, but I was just wondering even moving out of the current place is what I'm really thinking about. 
current place, what do you mean? My current home, like do it to another one, even if it's in a within area. I'm not getting that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Satu, I'm getting that your emotional understanding of what the guys are saying to you is that you need to dissect your plan and get some assistance. Okay. Yeah. They're saying, so if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one session with me, we could get deeper into it. But um, if you want to just understand what we're, I, I don't know if anybody else is understanding what I'm trying to communicate to you, but you need to get assistance. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. What am I saying? That I need to probably talk to somebody. I'm not finding it on my own. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking you, are you submitting your resumes to a company to help you get them out or I have not yet have not yet okay they're saying it could be quite easy if you did that okay yeah yeah so the job market is pretty hard right now mm -hmm. and I don't know who you're submitting it to <laughs> yes okay I have to look into that more yeah so like there's people that have mentorship programs that help you. There's companies out, there's headhunters. So, um, and then you're asking another question about moving your location and the guys are saying, that's not really the issue. Okay. Thank you for coming on. Okay. Thank you. We to move on. Okay, okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. So let's move on to somebody else. Um, no, don't make things more difficult than they have to be. There's people out there that want to help you um, get positions. Um, um, there right now is a very hard time to get jobs and employment, but there are people out there that have jobs that want to help you get jobs. How many know that? Absolutely. Yeah. So, and I'm one of them that help people too. So I have mentorship programs that help people and I, yeah, so my eyes can help you. But right now we don't have an hour to do one each individual person. So, okay, let's keep moving. Um, I am, do you know how many jobs are available right now? How many people know that there's tons of jobs available right now? Tons. Lots of jobs that are not available because they're laying people off, but there's a lot of jobs that are available, but it's finding people that know how to place you in positions. So um, they're laying off, but there's a lot of jobs available. You just have to find the people that know how to place you in the jobs. Okay, so let's do one more reading and then we're going to do the co-healing circle. Um... When you're talking to spirit, be ready to talk, okay? Because I can't draw it out of you. They're not going to tell you. Okay, let's do, I can't, I'm sorry, I don't see your name. It's too tiny for me. But the girl that's raising her hand in pink. I think it's Deidre. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, sweetie. How are you? You remember me? A long time ago, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, long, long, long time ago. Yeah. How long? Well, it hasn't, I mean, it's only been maybe a year and a half or so. And I think actually a couple times we've, I, I, and I remember Fatima, I was in a, a group thing with you and Fatima and a um, couple people at one point. I, it wasn't a healing. It was a, I, I don't remember. It's just a group thing that we did. Yeah, so I and you had a couple of predictions about things happening in my life that I think are coming to fruition. So I wanted to let you know that. But I wanted to see if I could reach out. My mother passed away uh back in October. And I was wondering if we could try to maybe reach out to her as I am looking for like her maternal support and some decisions I'm making because she's not here anymore. And I'm feeling a little lost. Okay. So let's see if you're, if she does come in. Um, I, I can't guarantee you're, you're no, but it's okay. More of a okay. Whatever I'm open to whatever you got. So 
you know, I'm getting your mom is not coming in for me right now. I'm getting okay. for you more about a real bright energy of Christ's light. Mm. I'm getting something about you working more in the spiritual world. There's mm -hmm. something about a community of nine coming in for me. I don't know if you're doing something in the spiritual community right now, but they're saying they want you to do more of that. Yeah. So what have you been doing? Um, I'm kind of running well, late right now. I've got to kind of move on. Yeah, I know. I know. Anyway, I'm, I, okay. I am, I'm active in my, um, my church, um, back here in the Chicago area. Um, I'm trying to get more connected with them, um, supporting them. Yeah. They're showing me that they want you to do more of that. They're showing okay. me the seven, which is the Christ light. They're showing wow. me the nine, which is the spiritual community. They're showing me the 10, which is uh, you doing more of that and moving forward more on like this beautiful mission. Okay. Um, they're also showing me there's a lot of abundance going on in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that happening? Yes. Yes. A lot yeah. of abundance. Yeah. A lot of abundance. They're showing me something, you know, maybe it is your mom crossed over. Um, maybe she's kind of pushing you more with your spiritual. Yeah. Could be. Path. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry if you're lost with your mom. It's okay. But you want to tell us about your spiritual group that you're doing? Because I think that she wants you to continue doing that spiritual group that you're in. Um, well, I started with um, a Bible study in my church. And um, it got discontinued um, for a few reasons. And so I'm now I'm looking for another Bible study. And just getting more involved in doing some community work, maybe with older people, because I did work a lot. I was with my mom in a home and I was with a lot of older people and I connected, I connect very well with them. So that's one of the things I'm thinking of going back, you know, going back to that environment and helping, you know, the mostly people with dementia and Alzheimer's. Yeah. That's what I see. I see a lot of that going on. Um, yeah, I see a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank for you. Out. Yeah. Thank you. So why don't we do the co-healing now? Cause it's, um, you know, our, this class kind of speeds by pretty fast and we're already, you know, kind of in a little bit here. So why don't we start doing the co-healing? So let's bring everybody that we did a reading on into the co-healing and, um, That'd be pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's bring everything in the co the the uh, co healing circle, and that's let's bring back everybody. We did a reading, and we'll do a co healing on everybody, and we'll bring Gemma back in and Fatima, and we'll do a co healing, and everybody out in the outer room sending co healing. Jonathan, do you want to come into the circle to do the co healing? And Gemma, I had, I had trouble on what, honey? But uh, yes, thank you for asking. For... Yeah, how are you feeling today? Feeling good. Great. And who else wants to come in to do any healing? Anyone else want to come in and do a healing? Do their healing energy work. I know Sharon needs healing and Medi offered. Yeah, Medi would have to bring Medi in. Um, but we're going to activate our hands um, and we're going to send love and healing and light as we're activating. Or I don't know if Medi wants to say a prayer or anything. We can do some healing on Sharon. And 
Chakra and Satu, Jonathan. Concentrating the light. Everybody in the room. Sending healing and breathing. Inhale on six. Exhale on eight. Inhale on six and exhale on eight. Inhale on six. Exhale on eight. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. By fully and freely, willingly, and accepting the energy healing going through the body, we can have this healing going through our body. Accepting the healing, Sharon, going through your body, inhale and exhaling, going through your stomach and down your back, up and down the spinal cord, breathing, inhale and exhaling, Sharon, inhale and exhaling. Ah, good job. Releasing all anxiety out of your body. Everybody releasing the anxiety and fear and leaving it in the third dimension. Keeping it away. Calling in the Holy Spirit. Calling in the joy. Calling in the gratitude. Calling in our Heavenly Father to heal us. Releasing all poverty, sickness, and breathing in the healing. Breathing in the light. We're going to go over to Satchu now and push the energy healing into her. Into your healing, Satchu. Into re receiving that you can find a job. That you can reach out for help. You are worthy. Putting your hands open. Opening your hands to receive the healing. All of us opening our hands to receive the healing from the Holy Spirit. I have unlimited amount of energy in my body. I have unlimited amount of consciousness. And I can receive the healing today. Deidre is putting her hands up and being vitally charged and spiritually charged. Everyone in the room is being spiritually charged for her their healing. The healing going to Medi and Jonathan too.
Taking deep breaths, inhale and exhale. Feeling your soul language. Asking yourself, what is my soul saying to me? How do I see myself the next few months? Where does my body, how does my body feel? How is my life going to be in the next few months? How am I evolving? Where am I going? Am I vitally charged? Am I spiritually empowered? And taking deep breaths. Inhale on six and exhale on eight. I'm moving forward. I'm fully and freely awakening in this fifth dimension. I'm trusting my healing. I'm ready for these miracles. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay. I'm human. I can make mistakes. Through the divine, my gifts are ready to open. Okay, I can move forward. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. I am peace, I am love, I am joy. Connecting to my spirit guides, connecting to the Holy Spirit. And then activating your palms again, activating your hands and just push them out into the screen to all your brothers and sisters. They get the energy from you. They get the healing. They get the blessing. As you push it out, you feel the blessing coming back to you. Oh. You'll get the blessing and then have it back to you in your heart chakra. Closing your eyes, keeping your eyes shut, feeling the energy into your heart. Activating your palms again, putting your hands on your crown chakra. Activating your palms again and putting it out to your classmates in here. Ah. Boosting your spiritual energy in your body and boosting your spiritual gifts. Good job, everybody. Beautiful. Do my spiritual gifts is my spiritual happiness, happiness where I can serve all. Your hands are tingling. That's good. They're activating. Beautiful. I know and trust that I am safe. I'm willing, I'm ready. To move forward. Namaste.
So I'm gonna um, now let's all. Um, I feel like what I want to do now. Thank you for doing the meditation healing, co healing with all your brothers and sisters here. Um, before we do, thank you so much, everybody. Before we do our um, our chat, our prayer chat, I wanted to go into the room and just do an interactive um, speaking to some people and see how they're feeling in the room. Um, so let me go in to talk to Sherry because I haven't met Sherry before. So Sherry, how are you feeling today? Hi, Kimberly. Um I feel really good and I feel a lot better now after um, we worked with the healing. Okay, great. And how are you, how'd you find out about us? Um, I am actually on your email list. Okay. So yeah, great. I saw the email. Thank you for being here. And um, I'm glad you were able to join today for our class. Thank you. Thanks so much. And um what about Ernest? How are you feeling, Ernest, from being in this group? Oh, I can't hear you. A lot of... <laughs> you might have to pick a different microphone under the settings, but you can just type in the uh, chat and just let us know and we'll read it out loud. Okay, we're going to thank you, Ernest. We'll get your comment later. Um, so let's go to Kari, uh, Connie. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thanks for being here. Of course. I Hi. enjoyed Hi. it very much. I'm enjoying it very much. Yeah, you're new. I've never met you before. How did you find out about us? Um, I'm reading your book um, right here. I'm saying a lot of the prayers in the awakening of the fifth dimension book and sharing it with others. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it with our ministry. And uh, I hope that you got some energy healing coming through today. I think so. Good. Um, yeah, it's a process of getting the fifth dimension. I teach a lot of classes. We have a class coming up called Strengthen Your Intuition. That's, I think, next Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, I have to look on my calendar. Um, oh, it's the 27th. Um, mm -hmm. But it is a process of doing uh, the work. So. Mm -hmm. And this class is always a different type of class because we do the rosary and it's more about praying. But oh, um, so is the fifth dimension. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Thank you for coming up. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. So going back. Um, and how are you doing, Rita? Oh, I um, can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. I'm doing well, um, feeling very relaxed. And it was wonderful to pray the rosary. I used to do that with the family as a child. So this was, uh, I haven't done it in quite a while. It was like riding a bike, <laughs> just get back on it. Yeah, I do like doing the rosary. I'm not sure what's going to happen next year, but this rest of this year, I want to continue doing the rosary with our Mary group uh, throughout this year. Um, I do love saying the rosary i always did when i was little and i do see miracles happen as we do the rosary throughout the group i do get a lot of people emailing back saying their life has completely changed since they've been doing the rosary wow yeah it's brings prayer uh through the country i feel um it's really powerful saying the rosary yeah thank you I so much every, for offering it yeah, yeah it's wonderful I, I say it every day. So please share it to other people and let people know that we are calling the rosary. So 
Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else? I love having you here. Thank you for coming. Does anybody else want to share any comment about today's class? I am going to make another announcement um, that they felt or had anything they wanted to offer about being here before we do our prayer chat. I'll say something. Um, I wanted to say thank you. Um, I, I was in your, this is Donna. I'm, okay, I'm yes. not able to come on right now with my face, but I wanted to say thank you because I started saying the rosary again and I was raised Catholic and I started to say it with my mom who has dementia and it's been so powerful because um, it's, it's something that's connecting and healing my relationship with my mother, and I feel so grateful. So thank you. Ken, thank, thank you, you myself. Thank you, Donna. Um, thank you. I want to say something about it. <laughs> um, a very, very, very good friend and a very famous person passed away this week who was the... Um, um, man that wrote the foreword to my book called Dr. Norman C. Sheely. I don't know if you know him, but you should look him up. He wrote the foreword to my book. Um, and when I went out to get um, studied by him, how many know him, Dr. Norman C. Sheely? Yeah, he's pretty, pretty amazing. So he just passed away on uh, Monday. Um, when they were, when he was doing the study on me, which he was pretty strict <laughs> and pretty amazing. Um, and I was laying hands on a pretty large man who had a pretty large thyroid goiter on the side of his neck. And I'll never forget Dr. Shealy uh, was sitting at his desk and um, it dissolved off the side of his neck. And I was saying the Hail Marys and I was in Missouri and I start saying, Hail Mary, fill the grace, the Lord is with thee. And um, the big man said, it's gone. And Sheely walked over there because he had been seeing it for quite several months. And he was supposed to have it removed, you know, surgically. He came over there and he put his hand on it. And he looked at me and he went like that with his mouth open. And he goes, I guess I'm going to start saying the Hail Marys. <laughs> and the people in the office were like, I guess we'll say them too. <laughs> and um, Gemma will tell you and Fatima, when I was going to New York, I would go out in front of people. I don't know how many people watch my videos, but I just sort of happens when I go out and I'm doing laying on hands. I start saying the Hail Marys. And um, in the book, there's a part in there where when I'm doing the healings, I say the Hail Mary. So it's not really a religious thing to me saying the Hail Mary. I just automatically say it when I lay hands. So um, there was two things I wanted to do today. I didn't want to forget. I wanted to read a dedicated poem that I wrote to Dr. Sheely in honor of his crossing to him right now. So let's rub our hands together. We're going to say this to Dr. Sheely, Norman Sheely. I heard you call out my name, heavens craving skeletons passing the gates. I saw you glide into his arms. He embraced you with stardust angels. Infinity laid his hands onto your soul. He took you to play in the flowers, soft, intricate glow. I heard your voice, but the air was too thick to see. Your light eyes captured me, raptured me so quick I couldn't breathe. To see the new. He planted me deep roots on earth. I still tried to listen in the faint hush I heard. I can't remember heaven, but I believe it's there. For stardust angels are waiting for me somewhere out there. Your deep, beautiful angels flew to the clouds above you. Over the precious line, I will someday find you. 
You're my stardust angel. I'll always be ever thine. I heard you call out my name. The stardust spirits that went to the stardust gates, one gently after the other, your heavenly divine. And that's for beautiful Dr. Sheely. And then I wanted to definitely give a little bonus gift away today to somebody here special. Um, you're all special, but I wanted to give a special, a special treat away today to somebody. So Tuesdays, I have these new bonus. I didn't know if you guys knew. Follow up. Um, 30 minute follow-up gifts that I have. I don't know if you guys know about my Tuesday specials. They're just 30 minute uh, sessions that I do. How many know about them? Oh, so on Tuesdays, I do 30 minute sessions. Um, and they're just kind of really cool because it's like an introduction session. And um, instead of my 60 minute, so on Tuesdays, we do 30 minute sessions. So today for a gift, because I know some of you more people today uh, uh, donated to us, which I was really very appreciative so we can keep our Mother Mary's going. So I wanted to give a 30 minute session away as a gift. And thank you for the people that have donated. Even $10 helps us keep these Mother Mary's active. So I wanna give a session today uh, as a special gift uh, to one of our Mother Mary participants today. Uh, that's came today. So my guys are going to go through and do that at the end of, at the end. Okay. So let's now everybody put in a heartfelt one prayer into the chat and Q is going to help me run the prayer chat. And Gemma and I are going to say a prayer for everybody as we all pray for everybody uh, from the prayer chat. And then I'll announce this, the, the, the um the session bonus that I'm going to give to you at the end. And I plan on doing this at every end of the Mother Mary sessions from now on to give back. Brian C. Prayer for financial abundance and prosperity. Amen. Sherry. Prayers for partner John that he fully recover from his stroke. Mark. Jonathan. For Mark. Miraculous healing and health longevity. Mehdi, to be able to do what I want. James Corbett, prayers for weight loss and financial blessings. Donna G, prayers for Mother Dolores. Francine, prayer for healing of gut and nerve tissues. Phyllis S, prayer for peace and prosperity. Ross Sergan, prayers for all that are suffering. Rita, prayers to keep my heart open in all circumstances. Fatima, prayers for all Mayan indigenous elders who are coming out to tell their stories, to protect it from any type of wrath and to bring more awareness to the world. Satu, pray, pray in healing for daughter's health and upcoming surgery and financial blessings for Satu. Michelle, prayers for Gabriel for miraculous spiritual, physical, and financial healing. Ernest, prayers for for good and brother.
in prayers for all those in need today, tomorrow, and forever. In prayers for Connie to help release that which does not serve me well, for the best and the highest good for all concerned, and for heart to be open to divine love. Sending healing and love to everybody and deserves to be healed. We're asking this in the name of the Holy Spirit to comfort everybody's prayer, lending healing and strength to the power of the Holy Spirit. We trust in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's take a deep breath and activate our palms, put our hand over our chest, and just stay silent for all these beautiful prayers that came in. Sending healing to everyone in the room and gratitude. And as we take the deep breath in through the Holy Spirit, through God, knowing that everything that we feel needs to have a shift in our life, that we are asking through our prayer can happen. We just have to be proactive with it. We believe by accepting our higher consciousness, we can have healing, we can have peace within ourselves, we can have peace in our on earth. We can experience this healing in this fifth dimensional energy by moving away from the 3D thoughts, 3D chatter, and that we know by experiencing this, this can happen, which is so amazing. We're taking those deep breaths, inhale and exhale. <sighs> by being supportive of our brothers and sisters, by being supportive of everybody, by every day doing one thing, helping somebody else, serving somebody else, by doing something for yourself also, but something for others is really, really helpful. Looking at the prayers in the chat, um, I see so many beautiful things that you're asking for, for other people, which is really important, but also it's important to also take care of you. So we're gratefully accepting the power of boosting your own consciousness and also accepting the healing within you and being responsible for your healing within yourself and being responsible for the healing that you take with your higher power. So your higher power, you have to understand, is important right now. Being respectful for you and respectful to your higher power, which is God. Because if you're not respectful to your higher power, then you can't help others. So where do you see yourself? in the next month. 
How do you see yourself moving forward? So before we end this group today, I'm just going to ask a couple people what is on their agenda for like the next month. And then I'm going to announce the person that I'm going to do the uh, bonus, um, the, the Tuesday, the Tuesday 30 minute. What's something new that you're going to be doing within this next month? to move yourself forward, to raise yourself up. Does anybody want to put offer? Anything? <laughs> you know what's interesting? You're the one the guides want to pick, uh, Connie to give the 30 minute uh, session to. They were telling me you were the one. So because they were saying that you were the one they wanted to do the teachings to, and you raised your hand to tell me, so you're getting the 30 minute session. So unmute yourself and tell me what you wanted to, to tell us. I, I have a, um, I am going to be sending out a um, proposals and a manuscript out to um, publishers. Amen. And I'm I'm my own I'm my own agent, and I'm I'm doing that. Yes. And because, so I I saw yeah. that. Yes, because it's getting out of the fear, getting out of the third dimension, getting out of your way, getting out of the fear. So whether it's bad news about your health or it's, you know, getting, so what stops us is the fear, the fear that you can't move, the fear that you can't go to the doctor, the fear that you can't find that boyfriend or that husband, or you can't find that job or amen for you. We're going to all clap for you right now. And we're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you. So leave me your email and I'm going to send you the link to the 30 minute um, Mother Mary bonus. And okay. I'm planning on doing this as a commitment that I want to do because this is my favorite class. One of my favorites um, is my mother, Mary Matrix Gemma and Fatima and Q can tell you, I'm very dedicated to this group. And this is like my family. And I, I love this group. So this is my family. Thank you. Today, I, I, I am going through an active process of finding my spirit family. And when you say that right now, that just Makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you. And my sister Kelly will tell you because she's sitting here. So we're going to leave this now. And I'm happy that we're all here together to cue now. Who's going to make some announcements. And I love all of you. Thank you. Thank you for attending today's Mother Mary Matrix class with Kimberly Meredith and special guests Gemma and Fatima. This class was put together by the Healing Trilogy, a nonprofit, non denominational ministry that accepts people of all race, religion, and spiritual beliefs. We all can be healed and have peace on this earth. Supporting the Healing Trilogy supports classes, healings, and community. Coming up Saturday, July 27th, is the next Strengthen Your Intuition with powerful techniques from your spirit guides. In this special event, Kimberly will help you figure out how to understand and evaluate your gut feelings or feelings of intuition. On Saturday, August 17th, will be the next Mother Mary Matrix class. That's this class. It's an in, um, it's going to be a special class with uh, 
special guest Marcia McGann. And this is going to be a free class that is non-denominational and non-profit. And anybody who donates or wishes to attend this class will be allowed in for free. Then Thursday, August 22nd, will be the next Spirit Circle Readings class. This is an intimate class with only eight people, and everyone who attends will be guaranteed a reading. And then Saturday, August 24th, is High Frequency Soul Activation with Kimberly and Kenji. Join us in this group healing event as we journey together into the higher frequencies of the quantum and fifth dimension and beyond. Both Kimberly and Kenji will be interacting with a live audience, bringing forth one-on-one -on -one mentoring, activation, mediumship readings, and Holy Spirit healings. The class will conclude with a starseed gathering with a group meditation and prayer that will continue into your field until complete. Your spirit guides and pets are welcome. And Kimberly also has her radio shows on Tuesdays. You can connect through Facebook Live or through Blog Talk Radio or by dialing on the phone number. If you want to learn more about Genma, you can learn more about her at RadiantEnergyHealing.com. And if you want to learn more about Fatima, you can learn more about her at DoveLightOracle.com. And we'll post those links in the chat for everybody. So thank you for everybody for attending Mother Mary Matrix today. Thanks, everybody. I, I just wanted to say one more thing about the August 22nd class, which is the Spirit Circle class. That is a teaching class also. So we are teaching channeling and mediumship. So thank you. And um, the July one sold out, but the August has a few sessions left. So if you are wanting to learn about how to channel, that is a really great group. So thank you and have a beautiful weekend. Bye everybody. Bye, bless you all.